Y'all, hey y'all, it's your girl, my Asia. I'm back with another video. Y'all know I gotta stay consistent with y'all because y'all gotta help me help y'all. But um, today I'm gonna be talking about mental health, life as an adult, and you know, so on and so on. So yeah, tune in. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I am here today to talk about a life as a young adult. So, um basically i want to say i'm gonna start by saying this i've been depressed for like a couple months or so and it's not like it was in and out depression it was consistent depression and like every day i would go i would go to sleep wake up with anxiety every single day and um it's not it's not a pleasant feeling at all when you like constantly just in your thoughts just keep thinking about this that all the bad stuff that's going on in your life like and it's best to know that you're not the only one you're not the only one it's way more people out here that go through that type of stuff even people on facebook that is Oh, I'm living my best life and I best believe ain't ain't nothing. I mean, I'm not gonna say ain't nothing, but everything is not all peaches with everybody. And I came to be the person to be like, I'm not about to act like my life is all this, or I'm not about to act like I don't go through this or that. Because I do. I'm human. All humans go through it. So basically, yeah. I've been going through depression since I was like a teenager, like my early teenagers, maybe 15, 14. And then like for a while, it stopped for like two years. And then it's, it came back when I turned like, um, I wanna say 19, 20, I don't know. But um, yeah, and it's like, I know it could be overwhelming, it's like you're living it's like you feel like you're living with no purpose but you have a purpose if you set your mind to it you have a purpose to live for and then it's like you're you're trying to talk to somebody about it they don't understand though the best thing to do talk to somebody that you know had depression or know what it feels like to have depression because you talking to somebody who never experienced it it's just gonna make you feel even worse because that person might think you're delusional the person might think that what like you're crazy and all that and you don't want to feel that but basically my point yeah don't feel down i had to i had to tell myself you're gonna be okay my Asian. you're gonna be okay it's been nice where i boo who i mean boo who cried to god and be like please make this stop just please i just want it all to end i just want it to stop and it's like it's like i would never i don't wish that on nobody not even my worst enemy i don't wish it on nobody for the people who don't go through it, please, if somebody say that they are depressed, reach out. Reach out. That's all I can say because it's, it's way deeper, deeper than you think. Like, some people just think that people just be saying that, oh, ain't nothing wrong with them. It's something wrong. Like, it's a mind. It's, like, irritating. And it's, like... The stuff, I'm going I'm to give an example of what I go through while I'm depressed. It's like, every day, you're just waking up, feeling like you don't have no purpose. You're just anxiety. Your anxiety is kicking like this. And then it's like, you're not interacting with other people. It's like, um, 
you're there but you're not there if that makes sense like your body is there but your spirit just feels somewhere else like you're just emotionalist Emo that's not even a word emotion basically you don't have no emotion and um it's like let me see i looked it up while i was depressed and stuff i looked it up at an early age and it said um depersonalization and they have one that's called derealization there's a difference but i can't really say the difference but um yeah i guess i experienced both because it's like um for example when i'm going to work in the morning i feel so lonely i just feel like i'm driving but i'm not really paying attention i'm just stuck in my thoughts the whole time and it's like everything around me just feel like a dream i can't react even though i want to so bad i can't because it's like my mind is just stuck in a place and like my body just feels so down i don't have the energy to do anything People say, oh, well, do what you like or this and that. You can't do it because you don't have no energy to do it. Like, and people don't understand that. Like, you could tell somebody, oh, well, you need to do this or do that. You can't. It's all based on that person and how that person thinks. Like, that person has to set their mind to the point of like, okay, it's about time that I start to do this. Like, it don't, it don't just happen like that. It just takes time like i'm finally getting at the point to where i can actually talk because i'm i'm feeling good i woke up in a good mood today like i literally three days in a row i asked god please take this away from me please take this away from me and today i kid you not i kid you not i wake up i woke up in a good mood and i told myself you know what this will be the day that i'm a new woman i'm in my soft girl era i'm getting all the negativity out my life Whoever I had beef, not beef because I don't have beef, but whoever I had, whoever had problems with me or any of that, I just, I just went and told how I feel about it or, you know, I did all that to just squash the negative energy. If someone come to me with some negative energy, you know what, I just push myself away because you're not about to kill my mood. You're not about to kill my energy. Like, and i kid you not that energy could be um contagious because somebody could be around you sad and you're like i don't want to feel like this again i just came from being depressed i just want to be around people who's fun and that really could kill your mood when somebody else is depressed or sad but you know you want to help that person but um yeah and then it's like whoever in your life that's telling you or you're not living right you're not you need to do this in life why this why that don't listen do what best for you i mean do good but this person not in your shoes to know what you're going through or how you, you need to go about doing it because people have different life paths like whatever this person did to get to this that's their business that's their life path yours may be different and it's like you can't go on social because social media is what triggers people a lot too they go on social media they see people got new cars see people living their best life but really you can't compare your life to somebody else's life because you're you have a different life path like and that that used to be draining to me too to where i used to get off social media i still i go on there every once in a while but sometimes i mostly be on youtube and looking at things that could inspire me to do better and it made me want to start youtube so that's why i started too but it's not it's really not something you want to go through like you know people who get it they get it the people who don't like you guys can never that that's the worst pain you want to feel your mind and your heart i think it's your mind and your heart battling like you know your heart wants you to do something but your mind telling you no this and that this and that all day all day and then you constantly thinking about the same thing same thing that's making you depressed and you're like i'm trying to get it off my mind and it's coming back like 
it's so draining and I'm finally in a place to where I could just relax like every day I felt on edge my anxiety was kicking in I was busting out crying and then when somebody asked me I tell them I don't know what's wrong it's just I'm depressed I don't know what's wrong and then it was a moment where I thought that maybe I should see a therapist but I, so I, I actually went through with booking the appointment and then after I did that I got I started feeling better. I'm like, I wonder if this a mind thing because it's no way. So, um, yeah, I started feeling better. So I canceled the appointment. Okay, la la la. Three days later, I'm back depressed, deeper and deeper and deeper because I'm not talking to somebody. I still ain't talked to somebody yet, but I don't want to feel basically I don't want to feel like I'm crazy to somebody because that's what they're going to take it like so I try to figure out my own way to make myself happy I read the Bible sometimes I read the Bible um I pray I just I talk to myself a lot and I'll be like you can get through this if you can get through other things you can get through this so I'll be like this temporary feeling is not going to last it's not gonna last because life changes every single day and I say that because I'd be like dang why life couldn't be like how it was because it's changing every day you're not gonna be the same person that you was you're not gonna feel the same way that you was years ago it changes every day y'all I got a lot of deodorant on my arm but yeah but um Basically, yeah, all my depressed people out there, if you're not doing good mentally, physically, whatever, get all that negative energy out your life. And if you don't know what it is, process of elimination. Or just read the Bible, pray to God, and just look for it. Find something to look forward to or worth living for. Like that. Like me. I like to go shopping, I like to do my hair, I like to take pictures, I like to look cute. But lately, I haven't been having the energy to do that stuff. So it's like, and when I was doing it, I didn't feel right doing it because I was still stuck in that depressed feeling of feeling like I'm living a dream. I wasn't actually enjoying the moment of doing it. So it's like, what can I do to make it stop? Uh, going to the beach going by a lake or pond helped too because it eased your mind but see people will tell you do that too but it's only temporary fixes like you'll feel good for that moment then once you go home or once you get by yourself you're depressed all over again and that's the sickening part of it and it's like you're scared you're on anxiety every day because you're scared to be like oh it's going to come back this feeling not going to last forever it's going to come back so your mind when you when you think that your mind go right back into depression because that thought coming in your mind to think oh it's coming back so it's coming back so i had to train my mind to just think that it's not going to come back like i could you not there been moments where i just been like just make it all just go away and stop and it's like i'm crying out for help but it's like the wrong people coming at me i won't say the wrong people but the people who don't understand those the ones that try to help but you don't get it so i can't talk to you about it but y'all all i can say stay prayed up that's all i can say because the girl in her soft girl era and i told myself you got big things ahead of you honey work on that credit score <laughs> work on doing yourself right that body right eating healthy and you good like you're good get your life straight girl y'all see my hair like this is this is exactly why i don't get curls in my braids but that besides the point but y'all ladies y'all say ladies or gentlemen y'all stay prayed up and y'all be happy and if y'all need somebody to talk to 
y'all can always DM me because I go through the same thing. But I had something else to say, but I can't remember. I had all this just, I had all this organized like a few minutes ago and I don't even remember what I was supposed to say. Also, living life as a young adult is hard because it's fair, especially when you haven't had that someone in your life to teach you the way to go as being the proper adult, you're going to have to learn for yourself. So with getting a new car by yourself, with getting your own place by yourself, or jumping into adulthood is very hard and now you got all these bills and people just think it's so easy oh you can go to school this and that but who's gonna help me with that you know like who's gonna help me with the schooling or pay my bills while i'm going to school or who who i'm gonna if you can't stay on campus who i'm gonna live with you know stuff like that and that's what parents or people fail to realize it's hard. I mean, some, you know, people realize, but it's hard to be an adult. Like, and then some people just have that path to where they having bad luck in their life. Every time they two steps forward, they taking two steps back. Like, it's very hard. And then especially with jobs now, they not paying nothing. The cost of living is high. So how are you gonna, even if you getting paid good, you still got hella bills the living is high just to live just to freaking eat healthy is high like y'all don't understand like but y'all all i can tell y'all keep trying keep motivating yourself to do good because one day your prayers your blessing will get answered one day you ain't going through all this for nothing. It's going to get answered. And until that day come, you keep looking forward to that day. You keep trying. You keep hustling. Yeah, because who who want to who wanna work their whole life? Build up that money. Build up that 401k or whatever you do. Build it up. Like, um, yeah. Cause that's what I'm planning on doing. Because adulthood is nothing to be played with. But yeah. And I won't have no churn until I'm, I can put my child in a two-parent household and can afford to take care of a child, you know? But now they generation, they have a child like this. By the time I had a child, have a child, their child gonna be 15. The people I done graduated, their child gonna be 15. God damn slow down for my child can go to school with y'all children shoot but yeah y'all uh oh y'all look tacky right now my hair look at my edges that's why i got my hair covered i'm ready to take this out no this braids do not good, do good on me so i gotta take it out <laughs> crazy but um I'm about to say something else. Oh, yeah. Let's get on the subject about this generation. I feel like I don't belong here in this generation because I'm tired of all the music that's out. They don't have nothing to talk about. All they talk about is the same old stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Can't see it on YouTube. But, yeah. And it's like, um... These women and men now, they all they do is cheat. All they want to do is be hoes. All they want to do is go party. Like, you can't even be like, oh, let's go out without being like, oh, we're going to the club. See, me, I like, I don't even go party. I don't even go clubbing, none of that. Like, I just stay to myself because it's like, I'd rather be around older people than younger people. Like, I don't feel comfortable around my generation anymore because it's just the stuff they're doing i'm not into i guess 
Like I'd rather be going horseback riding. I'd rather be walking the beach. I I go to bars sometimes just listen to people play their music in the bars. Like I like stuff like that. I don't like to go clubbing. I don't like to do the things that other people do. I like being my own unique self and doing things that I like to do. Some people put they pull the racial card. Oh, you're acting, you know, this or that because you like this or that. If you like this and that, then you do this or that. Like, you're not living for nobody else but yourself. You came here by yourself, you're dying by yourself. Like, it don't matter what people think. And I had to realize that. Like, I realized that at the age of, like, I'm going to say 19, 18. Because it's like, child... When I was younger, I used to get dressed up just to go to Family Dollar. Get dressed up to go to Dollar Tree. Like, I'm looking for somebody. Like, no. I don't care now. Like, I'll go in the store with just plain pants and a shirt or something. Because I'm not looking for nobody or dressing to impress somebody because I'm myself. I want to dress like this. I can dress like this. I don't care what nobody else thinks. Like, I use y'all... Let me tell y'all, I changed a lot and I'm glad. I'm proud of the woman that I became and becoming because I'm still becoming the 75, no, the 40% of a woman that I need to be. And y'all can do the same if y'all put y'all mind to it. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. On a road to 1K and your girl is out. Bye.